Und so what time is? Okay, we we can I can talk a little bit. So think that way, you know your body is all analyzed, you cannot find I and self. So that is called Mahayana mind for body meditation. It's analyzed. It's so go more deeper, you know. Not only just mind is focused on your body. So you have to analyze all your body. Then mind for feeling meditation is a little bit hard to recognize. Because sometimes we don't feel anything, right? So feeling has three only difference. Happiness, sadness, suffering, and neutral, right? Neutral feeling. So these three different feelings. So when you do the uh, feeling meditation, then when you have strong emotion, so that time you use this emotion, meditate, it's really good. You can focus that, right, feeling. And you load the feeling and just mind resting with that. So that's also different, the Hinayana tradition and the Mahayana tradition. Hinayana just mind is resting with feeling. But Mahayana look to the feeling. Where is this feeling, you know? And then you uh, the analyze feeling. Feeling is uh, not exist. It is like actually feeling is uh, uh, rootless, groundless, not permanent, it's emptiness, just naturally, you know, like many condition comes arise, right? So you recognize that feeling is emptiness. It's called Mahayana feeling meditation. So Hinayana tradition, like called basic teaching, just mind focus resting with the feeling, but Mahayana must have to have analyzed. You, you have to recognize your feeling is emptiness. So then you have like good feeling or bad feeling or any feeling is n no any disturbed. It's we recognize it's all is emptiness, you know. You are not attached to good feeling. You are not set to, you know, like suffering feeling, right? So you recognize it's emptiness. So that's called Mahayana, where to meditate, feeling meditation. Then uh, phenomena meditation, mind for phenomena. Phenomena is all this object. So you can analyze this object, yeah? So phenomena meditation is also, see, Hinayana tradition, Mahayana tradition is different. But difference is Mahayana go more deeper. Uh, Hinayana is just called basic teaching and you just mind focus on one object, mind just resting with that. And uh, Mahayana not only mind resting with the object, analyze the object, cultivate the object. Object is emptiness, you know, all this phenomena, object is, uh, uh, Mahayana is understanding emptiness. So then you are not attached to object. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, then uh, same thing, mind for consciousness meditation too. So mind for consciousness meditation, you can look to your mind, right? Consciousness. So that is the hardest one. Actually, you know how to meditate that. It's similar, it's, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, called the Lam Tong or Lam Tong, right? Lam Tong is so called special insight meditation. Or Vipassana, yeah. Shamatha also has no, without object meditation, also similar, you know. Uh, that is uh, going to m very high because you have to recognize your uh, mind also emptiness, you know, not only the phenomena object. So these four mindful meditations are best on the all the Buddhist meditation levels. So we can say, oh, 
we know how to do like mindful meditation, but if you go more deeper, it's not easy. Huh? What is shallow? Mm. So distracted. Mm. So that's why you meditation is always good is mindful body meditation. Yeah, mindful body is close eye, just focus you know each part of your body. You stay like twenty, fifteen minutes, is you naturally feel is peace. Feeling? Feeling also, yes, a mindful feeling meditation. Okay, so that's the her question. What is your name? Uh, uh, thank you, ask question. So what time is now? 23, okay. Last one, what's So next, <coughs> we're going to practice right now. Practice uh, Archi, Sadhana, and then going to Rinpoche teach. This one we going to do f starting from page twelve. It's a seven lamp prayer. Seven lamp prayer is called seven branches. Genius, that's all. Genius, in this song, don't you? It's uh, English. I bow down respectfully with my body, speech, and faithful mind to all Tathangadas in the ten directions. Those who have already reached Tathangadas state, 
those who are reaching it at the present and those Tathangata's still to come. Through the power of Samantha Bada's prayer, may all Buddhas manifest vividly in my mind. I post it to them, multiplying my body as many times as they are atoms of the earth. In each atom, I visualize as many Buddhas as they are atoms, surrounded by countless Bodhisattvas. Thus, all space is filled with Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. I praise all Buddhas through manifesting, chanting, expressing the great oaking of the excellent qualities. To all Buddhas, I make offerings of veroas, pure flowers, flower garlands of music, anointing oils, manifesting lake and fragrant incense. I make offerings to them of the fine garments, perfume and pearl, pearl high as moon meru, and orange in the most beautiful way. I visualize the highest and most extensive offerings and offer them with great faith to all Buddhas. I post it to Buddhas and make offerings to them. Following the deeds of the great Bodhisattva Samandabharas, I confess to you, Buddhas, whatever negative actions I have committed due to the power of anger, desire, and ignorance. I rejoice in the merit of all the Buddhas and the ten directions of the great Bodhisattvas and the Pakika Buddhas. Those who have attained Aharashev, those who have entered the path of Aharash and all other beings. I recourse to all great protectors and Buddhas to turn the highest veil of Dharma as the lake, displaying the darkness of beings in the ten directions and leading them gradually to the enlightened state. I supplicate those Buddhas intending to pass into Prenirvana to leveling for as many aeons as their atoms of the earth in order to benefit all beings. Whatever merit I have gathered through postations, offerings, confession, rejoicing, beseeching, and praying for the sake of the enlightenment of all sentient beings, all this I dedicate. So now we go to the page 19. One, nine. No, no, no. Om Soba Vai Shida Sarva Dharma Soba Vai Shida A wise celebrate appears out of the state of emptiness. From the shir, infinite lake streams forth and makes offerings to the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas. The lake then returns and dissolves back into the shir. The Shri then transformed into white Achi Chichidoma, standing stamp for the four Mara demons beneath her two feet. She is dressed in a following brocade gown and adorned with various sorts of precious gems. Her right hand holds a silver mirror with which she looks into the three times of past, present, and future. While with the left, she brandishes which fulfilling jewel that bestow upon supplicate everything needed and desire. In her heart upon the days of moon is the white syllable surrounded by the syllable of the mantra. Go back to Tibetan, page 19. <laughs> Sanje dan sanjo zemba nam ju sorundi rela tem shete yong se jirpa le ase kum do karmo jene jam ni che di jene ba nasa tarche la lo sorwa rumbo je naso je jemba Sa ye na ngu gar jim me long zimba de ma wo 
Ta ta de son se pasa yona ye yenge norwa namba sorwa tamna gendo tamje yongwar jo rangge doga dave chengorje tende shekar bola Naji Govarjo O Mama Zara Zoa Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande Mama De Ombe Zoa O Mama Zara Zoa Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande Mamande Hong Bezoa O Mama Zaja Zoa Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande Mamande Hong Bezoa O Mama Zaja Zoa Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande Mande Om Bezoa Om Mama Zaja Zoha Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande Mamande Om Bezoa Om Mama Zaja Zoha Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande Mamande Om Bezoa Om Mama Zaja Zoha Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande Mamande Om Bezoa Om Mama Zaja Zoha Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranza De Mama De Hong Be Zoha O Mama Zaja Zoha Yaran De Zarwan De Ranza Ranza De Mama De Hong Be Zoha O Mama Zaja Zoha Yaran De Zarwan De Ranza Ranza De Mama De Hong Be Zoha O Mama Zaja Zoha Yarn De Sarwan De Ranza Ranza De Mama De Hong Be Zoha Together. Beautiful coins of space, glorious Dharmala, your body white with red takes on unwavering stains. Masters of our dominant forces and the wrong view of a cyclic existence, giver of great bliss and joy, glorious lady of intense delight, with one face and two arms, your smell brings peace. In your right hand is the Dhammara, filling the universe with its sweet song. In the left, your skull cup holds a wish for flame gem, and your grind practitioner all see this. You are robed in a gown of five colored slates and adorned with jewel ornaments and blowing slate rainbows. Reading a blue water horse amid is the clouds. Adorned with a blue Tarku Sehatar, a yellow reverter of gold, grey silk traps and straps of a leopard lazuli, or a slate stained kitchen and a golden cedar, riddled the laughing glorious goddess cone of space. 
Through your great compassion, the display of your retinue efforts, surrounded by hosts of samsara, yakas, and darkness, and owned with the four enlightening activities and wearing the way of no elaboration, guarding who protect the drink completely in order to increase the prosperity of that is perfect place, manifesting Jigong, accept this dharma and guard the teaching. I entire you to keep your pledge. Please perform all activity entered to you. The next one, powerful lady of maid who guards the victorious teaching with your voice to protect excellent practitioner like your own children, archi children and retinue. To you I pray, to you I offer, please grant me every wish. Three times, powerful lady of maid who guards the victorious teaching with your voice to protect excellent practitioners, like your own children, Archi children and retinue, to you I pray, to you I offer, please grant my every way. Powerful lady of maid, who guards the victor's teaching, with your vow to protect excellent practitioners, like your own children, Archi children and retinue, to you I pray, to you I offer, please grant every way. So now we go to Tibetan. Page 20, bottom of the page 20, with the drum together. Shri-yin-san-yin-so-bhara-din-chi-chi-dun-kum-do-ka-mar-an-jir-min-jin-wa-jin-kor-ve-lo-da-yin-zi-wong-a-ma-de-jin-ga-de-ran-jir-ba-
sky blue of a mountain azure it crossed in your youthfulness the stones of your blood cloud here hanging behind your lake of your holding a wire the left holds the fresh and heart of a hostile spirit to your mouth your three string eyes cast three words to tremble bring peace to those of your fortunate children whose commitment is strong considering loving kindness from the very depth of your heart as we well make offerings to you please become our patron deity when we call upon your be our friend and compassion to our children learn of the dharma and to all the retinue I pray and make offerings ordering you in power may all your wishes to be fulfilled in according with the command of the masters of pure awareness of you do not no transgress your sermon mode and bonds with eyes the yogins in any way whatever and perform my enlightening activities in full more particularly may the teaching of the original transmission of the dikong lineage come to complete fill the entire earth the various order of monastic community kept their accepted ethical practice pure and the power and wealth of pecuniary and donors increase safely realize all goals in, in the entirety no we do tibeti Oh Moza Nang Yim Lanzo Jin Tam Do Rarba Zer Me Gujab Ke Shar Je San Ye Ye Be Tru Go Tam Yung Be Dan Ye Mar Bo Shar Du Zor Dam E Ye Be Se Son Yung Yung Se Gardenbalajene Ta ta nam jur da ke ta se le Nam yam dan chen le nyer te long Che paran te gong ka ju te ban te Nor zen chung ke yong sen ke ba ta Gen te te nam thong te chen zan yin Jim da so na nga ta in jor wa je Sam do ma le nyor de de bar an zu Page 27 uh, is uh, Achi small offering. We do first uh, English. Instantly, my nature clearly arises Varja Yogini. On the crown of my head is Jigdin Sungon Renashiri. He abides in the nature of Nirmanakaya from the palm syllable at my heart. Emine syllable Ran Yang and Kam. This purify all impurities and the perfections of the Samaya substances. Then the syllable on are and home emanate, transforming the multicolored essence of the offerings into the inner nature, the nectar of a promoter awareness. Offerings for each of the Buddha families, fed the three thousand for the universe. Go back to Tibetan. <coughs> Ranye Dorje Nam Jur Mai Geje Zarwe Jezoto Jede Songo Renaje Trigger Ranje Jendajo 
Spontaneously accomplished by the perfected unborn radiance of this secret mandala. When I invite the recourse the Dharma protector to come, darkness please manifest to perform the activity of promote awareness. Supreme guardians who abide by the world and economy manifest in bodily form from the Dharma data. Along with the emanation, mandalas, both worldly and of pro model awareness. I call upon you by your commitment to come now to this secret place. From the vast expanse of the excellent deep blue space, blazer with the turquoise light, and particularly from the place of the treasure travel of the Razukar, Grey Eder Sister Verosili Ro Achi Nanamza. Please come here in the time of venomous enemies and obstructors, manifesting emanated bodies from the automatic space of promoter awareness. Are the goddess empowerment worth the commitment of karma and promoter wisdom? To protect the teaching of the victors one, each according to your family, and together with your retinue of a principal, and saying wrath for deities. Lordly chanting the sea and hunting melody of the stakini like a dragon's roar. A vast and a chambering house all crow and complete in all trumpets your hands waving mudas. I bring forth the clothes of offerings that is the small of the purification ritual, a vast auction of nectar. By your commitment to this secret side descend Veda Samatha. Sa ho pa ho a la la ho e ha ya he banga vi a ka ya cha sa ma ya sa Go back to Tibet in page 29. 
English Goddess of space along with your entire retinue please be joyfully seated upon these thrones arrange us as to agree with each one of you I bring forth an ocean like clouds of offerings, both substantial and mind created. I post with the devotion of my body, speech, and mind. Go back to Tibetan. <laughs> First, please listen today in this secret place and spring year. Add on our speeches our in the prince and the favorable for virtue. Glorious Buddha and Aha, by my aspiration forward consideration of the factors, may I accomplish our purpose in this very lifetime. Today, as I make this offering of so purify small to you, deity. Please dispel spare of disturbance, murphers and obstacles, turning them back up in themselves, cleansing and purify all obscuration and impurities, lacing with the clouds of purifying offerings of the sweet smelling smoke, or various sublime medicine that dispel negative emotions, slave brocade, jewel, incense and clothes wool. Fragrantly and white sand wall, incredible wall, juniper, drift, water, drip, bird, and so on. All the very sweet smelling and ambrosial trees, and full of yogurt, milk, and very source of food and drink. We make purify offering to the glorious rule and the lineage teachers, to the meditation deity, yoga, yogini, and their retinue. The leader of the Dharma protector, Dharma Severus, the cone of space, and the darkening of activity and of promoter awareness, of commitment and power, 
and the three goddesses who divorced, slay, and snatched away, heart-shaking mother and trousered love of force, wrathful red mother of enlightening activity along with your retinue, the households of deepless flesh eaters, and all moments and darkness without exception, to you we make purifying offerings, to the auspicious coin with the power of life, of springs trees of the Himalaya, to the four family of medicine goddess, the five sisters, and twelve earth goddess, along with your we make purifying offerings, so that the patron deity, the house of protectors, the custom of the precious teaching of the Kaju lineage, and ocean of sword gardens, protect us, the both keeping yogi practitioners, we make this purifying offering. As it is touched the deity and ourselves, the offering more purified the evil of impure Samaya. Volition of vows defilement due to discord, vulnerability to evil and domestic possessions, do stemming from contact with the corpus, rap, incense, and burning things, as well as all other and force. Thus may this perform means for attainment of which one save and smoke. Please the gods and the protectors and repair all impairment and breakage of the vows. May it pacify all obstructive and negative conditions. May we perfectly receive all our aims in full accord with the Dharma. Please lesson today I make for the praise of the goddess and protectors. Glory to Dharma severers. With these other inner and secret ritual substances, glory to the Dharma severers, with the claw of offering also of infinite variety of objects that are pleasing to all saints. Glory to Dharma severers, with the music of devotion, fair song of praise. Glory to Dharma severers, with the mantra and muda and the profound meditative concentration. Glory to Dharma severers, you who are above the Samadhi of Samsara, who are more brain-laying than sun and moon, glory to Dharma severers and us fair with virtue as the wish granting gem. Glory to Dharma severers, west as a summer lake. Glory to Dharma severers in order to separate and unfair for drug of the victors of one. Glory to Dharma severers to protect its followers and release their aims. Glory to Dharma severers, protect us and never become separate from us. All the perfect power and blessing, splendor and worth of the emanate and emanate universe of samsara and nirvana are gathered today as the manifest power of fortune, like a severing ocean of auspiciousness and prosperity. All your powerful protectors, protect the courageous lotus teachings and sustain the development and increase of those who hold it for ourselves the practitioner and all our circle at home for our dwellings with auspiciousness and spiritual world and when we are abroad repair our robes vendors and predatory high school despair injuries and drinking talk and energy loss and know and in the future spontaneously bring all our aims to realization. So now we go back to Tibetan. It's page... Page 32. <coughs> 32. Mm. <coughs> Yarbonde 
三千大千牛木色为美酒拿走的大日子人均平等阿格日真的格马之赞德日格修巴达里达巴拉索杰西那德子真的唐杰达西马尔格萨东那所觉得的人得别三九的早晚也别把人定喇嘛三一等都见南九可见三等送送莫言送切切的人间看着夜夜看着满当前看着晚个看着 Sazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazazaz
page 42 <clears throat> english first ah uh, from the radiance of the compassion the radiance of clarity and emptiness i arise is varja yogini with the incomparable lord rinashiri above crown of my head like the moon reflected in calm waters a clear upper dancing with the syllable ram yam kam emanating from my heart as rays of light this bone up blow away and rains claim or defilement ever in the wrong doing with on ah and home they transform into nectar and with on on fur for the entire expanse becoming offerings to the dharma protectors ram yam ka o a ho ha ho ru go back to tibetan a do za ra ni ji za ra da le ra ni do ru ji nam ju ma Jeo nya me re na je ma de che de kar ye sar to le o de ra ya ga ba so ni jo se do te o a ho ge de ze jo ha ho re yo ka ye ga song jo be ze ze jo ram ya ga o a ho ha ho re o a ho ha ho re o a ho no re english before me emades missing clouds of beings is the white dharma protected dharma tara adorned with slate silver fine brocades and jewel ornaments with her right hands she holds the dharma ru and with the left a scroll cup carrying the wish for filling jewel she has three eyes and possesses a peaceful and wrath for demonio on the water below wisdom holds with the golden bladder and the transcurs reins adorned with silks Upon a cedar of brocade she fell her right before her is the blue flesh eating dakini to her right the yellow dakini of promor evarene behind her the powerful red dakini and to her left the white dakini of samaya in the circle beyond are the five cherubim sisters of long life the tov tema earth goddess and the power for yakshir mothers lake of four major of stuff same seas each is distinct and land clarity visualized with a vast expanse of rainbow light from the three syllable in the three place and from the left fourth lake stream forth to the pure realm of odiana to lake digonter and to the great of tedo to invoke dharma thara sure you are who are bound with the samaya to protect the teaching of the dharma the five archi sisters the cherima sister of long life tov tema earth goddess and all your house of dakini tie your intention to the place and please come here like your promise please be seated up in the throne of this of Do not forget your commitment but accomplish all that has been entrusted to you. Oh, zero enjoyment emanate from the promoter expense of summon that ah uh, of um, of qualities. Hong Dharma Thara you who bring about joy. Sure, please accept this Dharma offerings and liberate all enemies and obstructors. Mother glorious dharma thara coin of space protect me the yogin along three path at home and abroad mother do not forget me please guard me at all times with your compassion please bestow ordinary and supreme seeds 
At the time of death, lead me to the pure realm of Odiana, constant refuge in this and all fortune love, Dharma Tara. In order not to transgress your commitment to protect those under this refuge, protect me and never leave. Please accept this O King like clause of Torma offerings. Through this many blessing and delightful substances, may Samaya with Dakini, mother and her retinue be fulfilled. Please forgive any time that I have breached and liberate them enemies, subtractors and the opposite to the commitments. Accomplish the four types of enlightening activity. Go back to Tibetan. Page 43, <coughs> bottom of the 43, right? 42. Uh, I think 43, we, yeah, bottom of the 43. <coughs> 42 is already we did. Rounding chains in Tepe, we, Ting Song Chi Chi Do Makar, Tarada Saure Nete Ye Batare Yung Tunur Jin Sum Shi Te Nyam Dan Ding Chang Shi Che Tang Ng Bo La Si Sa Yun Tur Tar Che Jin Sao Ga Ding Tur Tav Yo Ding Da Ya Zang Kan Do Ding Yes, ye jen kan do sir, jab de wang jen kan do mar, yon de tam jen kan do kar, sen ko se ren jen a tang, te ma chu nye wang so ma, tam je te re gan se ba tar, man jen ja sun long de sar, ne sun jo sun to so le, Ponte Orjin Tak Pe Shen San Chok Leng Tang Te Do Ta Chi Chi Do Ma Chin Tang Chur Shri Ten Pa Song Ve Tam Se Chin Ab Sen Che Nga Se Ren Ma Ne Ma Chiu Nyen Ta Ke So Ngin Chi To Tang Te Re Gong Shi Ren Chin Po Tang Te La Yo Tam le ma da kan jo do O a ho O do yong kin sang lo ne tu A in ka mi ro cha ne tong te Ho da ma ta re nji kong chu Shri nchu turun te shi trap ke tu Ma par te yin so chi chi tu Dai nam jir shi si lam sun la Me ma yir tu ji te gen chong Cho te mo si te da la tsur Se bi se or jin shen te tre Te te se chap che che ju ma Cha cho pe tam le ma ta war Da le ta men trang kong chom su Zen ba leng chu trin jam so ji Thong ji bin ting zi na so ji Maan kan trung kur chi tu tan kan Chi nyam cha kan chi su par sur Tap lo pe trap ke se ma dur Thong nan jen trin le kan chu trung Forty-one. Yip-chi-chi-chi. 
41. By the power of this virtue, may the practitioner of Dharma be free of stickers, attain the level of dignity of a prom or evarene, may we draw up the ocean of a cyclic existence. Gewan de yen de la de chese du bo ge me je jan an da ge sa do ne kur ve jam so ge ba re ju zim je nam je zam ba da lo ye se da je da wa che chong de mong de ba ye chi jeng go lo go de su ตัวนี้ก็รอดมาของนี่ดีเนี่ยดูยังอย่างมาดัสสัตว์นาทีเอ่อทุกเรื่องที่ยังอย่างเยี่ยดีเรื่องนี้บ้าเนี่ยว่
So, my dear friends, before in the morning we now spoke about, we came up until the mantra recitation and we spoke about the four branches of approach and accomplishment. And so we have said that mainly as we um, practice the um, uh, approach, especially when we do the mantra recitation, that no matter what deity you practice, you should not consider the number of accumulations is most important, but the accomplishment of the deity really depends on whether or not you are able to, um, to visualize, and uh, that has nothing to do much with the numbers. So actually there is um, a threefold division when it comes to mantra recitation in terms of how the mantra is accomplished and one of them is a certain number of mantra recitations and another one is um, in terms of timing. So you're um, reciting the mantra without counting but for a very long time and during that uh, set time you're um, focusing single pointedly and without distraction on the visualization. So for that time, for that duration of time, if you are focusing single-pointedly, then uh, one accomplishes the deity uh, in that time. But often uh, what people do is that they are, it seems that they're making a separation between the um, mind visualizing and the mantra recitation. So their mind may be distracted and thinking about all kinds of things and then they just recite the mantra and some recite the mantra very quickly to do the accumulations and some recite it more um, slowly um, but um, now when it comes to the accomplishment we cannot really pay so much attention just to the numbers accumulated and also um, in terms of duration we need to habituate for a long time Sometimes, especially new disciples, um, also in the West, um, have said that I have practiced this deity and recited that mantra uh, for quite some time, but it hasn't really benefited me at all. So, of course, like we can't really blame such a person. They also don't have the experience. Uh, for example, someone has said that they have practiced um, the Chakra Samvara together with all the visualizations, but no feeling at all arises um, at all. So then they said, so this, is, this can't be a good deity. And then they practiced the Yamantaka Drupchen for one week, and now the same person has a very special feeling. And then they say, then that must be a good deity. Um, but actually, it has nothing to do with the deity itself, but it has to do with how we engage in practice. It is said, it, um, it, what is not, is not important, and the practice itself is less important than the way in which you practice. Um, so m the accomplishment of a deity is very much connected to how we engage in practice, not just the mantra recitations, the accumulations. And so then if one practices something for a longer time and more intensively, then the benefit will always be greater. Uh, but then it seems that that is the good deity, then the better deity. But actually, it's just the way in which you practice it. And so, for example, when we do a drop chen, the reason why many people experience it as a, like a positive feeling is because during that time, a lot of disciples and sangha, all of us come together and practice single pointedly. And due to that, a special feeling arises. Um, and that doesn't normally arise when we do, we do not engage in intensive practice. But the difference does not lie in the deity. The difference lies in the focus on the practice. But in terms of the deity, there is not even the slightest difference. So it's important to understand that uh, the deities do not differ in um, their quality. Not one is better than the other. Mm. Tali, 
So for the um, mantra recitation, then um, now and then when we come to the, the sadhana where we recite the mantra, now there's elaborated longer sadhanas and more concise some um, sadhanas, and so often um, uh, due to the activities, the things that we have to do, we are unable to um, always engage in the um, more elaborated um, sadhanas and we practice a concise one, and often um, also it is then really difficult to uh, focus on the meaning that we have not actually clearly understood before. And so, um, therefore, um, first it is, there's all kinds of sadhanas, longer and shorter sadhanas and so on. And whatever sadhana you practice, first it is good to really familiarize yourself with the, with the meaning uh, before you actually engage in the practice. So, for example, now uh, we engage in this practice of Achi, and that is a short practice that we have here, but then also we need the other uh, longer aspects of the practice. Um, Jigdun Sungun had said um, that there is one with a higher capacity, um, but also in the beginning um, we must 
uh, rely on the elaborated sadhana. So in the beginning, it means that we first needs, need to train and learn the meaning of that practice. And then when you learn um, then and familiarize yourself with the visualization and the meaning and so on, then when you later put that into practice, as you recite through the sadhana, the meaning will come to your mind. And so the same also is true for not just the visualization, also for the mantra recitation. We have said that you know, if you m focus on the visualization and really understand the meaning of those four branches of approach and accomplishment, then through understanding the meaning um, and the, the levels to be <coughs> accomplished, a special feeling arises due to that. And so um, in the beginning, um, often for beginning practitioners, when they just start out and they visualize the deity and they recite the mantra, they feel that there no special feeling at all arises and there's just a lot of recitations that they don't really understand. And so therefore, first it is very good to really familiarize yourself with the meaning of the sadhana and also um, the four classes of tantra and the four branches of approach and accomplishment and their different approaches according to the new and old tantric systems. And every time you learn and look into that, it becomes your understanding deepens, it becomes more and more profound. And then later, once you're really familiar with the, the meaning of what you're practicing, then the moment you just think of the day team, the day team will instantly arise in, in your mind. Or also when you recite the mantra, and the deity will arise. So in essence, the whole um, point of the practice is so that the deity never leaves your mind. We must habituate to the point where you never separate from the deity. That it always appears in your mind instantly. And this is um, from that always remaining with you, um, there's the single pointedness. That is where the power of the visualization and the mantra recitation really comes from. Um, and then for this reason, we often chant the mantra slowly and in melody. So until that is accomplished, so that the deity never leaves your mind, we practice. Um, for example, we recite the, the mantra, we chant it in a very pleasing melody, and we never forget about the deity and the mantra in our day-to-day -day activities. Um, and then, for example, now of in terms of the mantra recitation, now we mentioned that we should not just focus on the numbers, but <coughs> also uh, on the, the <coughs> meaning and the way in which the mantra should be recited. In general, in it is explained that the mantra recitation, the recitation should be free of six faults. Uh, so um, there's no need to go into each one of them, but in brief, one should not recite the mantra too fast and also not too slow, because then it doesn't become very clear, or it should not be too loud or too quiet. And it should be clearly pronounced. So each of the syllables of the mantra should be pronounced very, very clearly, each of the mantra syllables. Because when the mind, um, when, the, when, the, when the speech is focused cl um, clearly, then also the mind becomes clear. For example, you recite the Achi or Omani Padme Hung mantra very clearly, focusing on the clarity of each syllable. Then the mind will also be present with that. The mind will be clear. Otherwise, um, sometimes we um, we recite the mantra and it becomes um, kind of like a slur, and um, like in the end, it just turns into like one sound. Um, where we don't even move our mouth anymore. And so then if we recite the mantra like that, then of course the power generated will not be very great. And so not just the mantra recitation, actually any kind of scripture, or anything that we read or recite, it is important actually to say it out loud so that you can hear yourself reading it and to say it very clearly, to clearly pronounce each of the words that you're saying. So the sound that you hear is also very significant. Um, it is just like um, you're familiarizing yourself, like um, you're hearing yourself like on a TV or so. And later, when you get older, then all the things that you have recited when you were young, 
then that will become really beneficial when you get older because then you have memorized the things that you have recited. By reciting things, you also memorize them and that will actually also be beneficial for future lives. It will stay in your mind. So it's very, very helpful for the practice to um, read what uh, recite any kind of syllables or mantras out loud and to um, say it very clearly so the mind follows with clarity. Uh, so that is the significance of just the sound um, in itself and the clear, th the clear uttering of a sound. So um, today we have this excellent opportunity. Um, it's a good um, like occasion uh, this, um, in this uh, context to, to you know, share that with you. So um, I'm happy to be able to share that with you. Mm. ま、<音楽><音楽> ランガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガンガン
But when it becomes very fast, even though you can't see it any longer, it gives off a sound. So there is, the, you can hear it, but you can't see it. And I felt that this is just the same with the sound, the naturally emerging sound of the mantra garland. First it begins to turn slowly and then it becomes so fast that you cannot even see it any longer. And at that point it gives off a natural sound. And that is the natural sound of the mantra. And through habituating to the sound of the mantra, <coughs> you're able to um, transform all sound into the natural sound of the mantra. And so um, when we practice the mantra recitation, um, the purpose also is to um, um, to let go of our very strong grasping at the reality of the sounds that we hear. So the mantra recitation is to realize the empty nature of the sound, to clear away the habitual imprint of grasping at sound. We have very strong imprints of grasping at form and grasping at sound, and actually mm, we are grasping at sound even more than we are grasping at form for the most part. For example, if someone has said something bad to you, like last year, then still now it remains in your mind and you still remember, or this is what he said to me. And still it affects our mind. Um, so when we, when we equalize all sound into the sound of the mantra, then there is no more pleasant or unpleasant sound. That imprint is being purified and everything, all sound becomes the same. And then you will be able to practice patience no matter what sound you perceive. Um, so when you practice the mantra recitation together with visualizing the mantra garland, so then um, you visualize how the mantra garland begins to turn and then very fast. And then when it turns very fast, then from the mantra garland light radiates and then gathers back. And so as it radiates, then um, you should think that it makes, it brings offerings to all the higher beings and it purifies the obscurations of all sentient beings. So the light that is radiating really is connected to your own mind <coughs> of uh, faith or devotion and compassion. So it is really m devotion and compassion that, uh, that draw the mantra um, to those pure lands and to sentient beings. Uh, so that is the benefit of the, the mantra um, wheel or the mantra garland. So first uh, you familiarize yourself with the benefits and then you visualize and then you begin to turn the mantra and then it accelerates, it turns very fast and then it gives off a sound and then light rays radiate and gather back. So if you understand the meaning of all of that, uh, the, the purpose behind all of that, then whatever mantra you are reciting, you actually feel inspired to recite it because you have understood the, the purpose or the meaning behind it. Mm. Gora Lamson, <laughs> Sanjay 
ไม่ต้องน่าทราบเยี่ยมทองเกรียสไม่ต้องน่าทราบเยี่ยมทองเกรียสไม่ต้องน่าทราบเยี่ยมทองเกรียสไม่ต้องน่าทราบเยี่
There are some disciples, for example, who have said that they have actually seen the pure land of Devachan, but then again they become obscured and they can't see it. Or the other day in Washington, there was this young girl, only six years old, and she, for example, was a, a sign, like an example of someone who has already habituated in previous lives. Um, so um, she said something like, um, "No, without um, just with closing um, the eyes, um, without seeing it directly, she can see the Buddha in her mind." Um, and that is quite um, amazing, actually. It just arises naturally. It is not an, a physical seeing, but it appears in her mind. And actually, some other people may be um, like re uh, thinking or reciting mantra hundreds of times, but still they can't see the deity. So it comes down to um, habituation. And if we have already habituated in previous lives, then um, for example, as a young child already in this life, the Buddhas actually appear to you. Uh, but then um, there's also um, people like myself um, who are, are very um, sinful, um, but still through the power of um, trust, um, then the deity also appears. And so um, often, even if we see it, actually, uh, we often we see it, but we don't believe in it. So often you see the deity or see the Buddha, but then you think, oh, this is not true, this is all confusion, this is not only a delusion. Um, but actually, um, the basic nature of your mind primordially has the nature of the Buddha, and that is your true nature. And the mind is only obscured by temporary stains. And when these stains are removed, then the mind itself is the Buddha. So actually, the Buddha um, is in innate to your natural state. It is your natural state continuously. The Buddha is actually always there, um, inseparable from you. And only temporarily you are obscured by the dualistic grasping at self and other. But if that is cleared away for just one moment, and in that moment you see the Buddha or the deity, what you see in that moment is the actual Buddha. Lord Chikden Sumgen also said, I have realized that the mind itself from which I have never separated is the Buddha. Uh, or when you see Mahamudra in just an instant, in only that moment, all stains are cleared away and you see the Buddha very clearly. It becomes very clear and also for the, or the deity arises. And when it arises, you should recognize it as the actual deity. There's no difference at all. For example, nowadays we are also making like video calls on our phones. We can see the other person who is far away. And that's actually also due to science. And science also is an aspect of wisdom. The perfection of wisdom is then the state of enlightenment. And so, um, for example, we are making these phone calls, these video calls where we can see each other. And sometimes um, people, people who don't really understand love, they think that, oh, this is like fake. Um, I'm not really with the person. I need to be right with the person physically. If I only see the person on the phone, I'm not really together with them. And that's actually quite um, a stupid view um, because act that is a sign that you don't really understand love um, because if you do not understand love, then even if you're like physically together with the person, if the person is right next to you, it is of no use whatsoever. There is no benefit when there is no love. But if there is love, then even if the bodies are separate, and for example, you make this phone call and you see the other person, instantly it seems like you are together. Because what really is together is the mind. And it is when boundless love arises, for example, for the entire world, that our minds really become one. So the body is really not important when it comes to being together. Um, what's important is the, the mind. Um, it is the mind that creates a closeness and, and not the body. And so um, now for practicing the deity, you know, therefore when you habituate to the deity practice and after some time later it appears, and what actually appears you should recognize as the deity or as the Buddha and not anything else. Um, so um, the, um, the first benefit of the mantra therefore is to recognize the mantra to see it as the deity itself. 
Um, and when you visualize the deity, when it appears to you, it appears in all kinds of ways. Sometimes it, uh, it appears um, as many, sometimes as one, sometimes large, sometimes small, and so on. Um, it appears in whichever way, but whatever appears still is the actual deity. Um, so now we, um, we um, stop the instructions for here for now. Um, meditate on that, um, close um, your eyes um, and um, meditate on the deity in that way.
I've never really, you know, talked to him about this, but he said, you know, I realized that you were right, you know, about things that you know, you've been hearing because, and he said, this is, I just kind of looked at it and went, and it was, it was just that he was a and, you know, and it was that I didn't want to, you know,
know, what he was a you know, and well, I think Right, right, right. Right, right. Yes. It had to come to fruition. You know, it has to come to fruition. Anyway, when you started saying that, I thought, oh, I'm going to be Okay, so how does this work? And sometimes. <laughs> Oh, there's two more notes. No, this is no. The red one should work. Here, you do it. You're coming here. Oh, probably not because I get it. All the way down to the left. It's a box. All the way in the bottom on the left. Um, no, I had, they, well, they were part of the Dharma Foundation, the 37 Buddha things, and they were slotted, so I bought a bunch to put on. Yeah, isn't this? I think it did too. It looks like
sociedad. Sarai <laughs> Particularly, <laughs> え、ま、ちゅばしばそ。で、ま、ちゅどんてちばそね、てに、せ、せ、けどんてどわるとくりはてたがてに、え、たたんがさ、でらしいもなんのそこへ、てにてさい、てにてたさいうてて、どばんと
or for example when you're turning a, a prayer wheel however many mantras are in the wheel the same number of, ma of deities also emanate to the outside with each rotation and as they emanate outside they transform into dakas and dakinis and going to the pure lands they make offerings there inconceivable offerings they are also called the samantha badra offering clouds and um, clouds because they, they multiply. So first there is one that multiplies into 10 and that into 100, and then you keep multiplying it by 100, so you come to 10,000 and so forth, more and more, until the entire space is pervaded. And uh, what really pervades these um, offering clouds, th um, the pervasiveness is the power of bodhicitta. Uh, so um, secondly, the mantra is an offering. And thirdly, the third benefit is that the mantra also becomes a purification of obscurations of sentient beings. Um, for example, we make a prayer um, that all sentient beings in the six realms of samsara may take birth in Devachan and so on. Um, and in the, in the Devachan prayer, also it says how Chinresik and Tara emanate from Amitabha's um, left and right hand, um, millions of Chinresik and Tara emanate. Um, so um, there's countless um, um, deities that appear. Um, there is um, uh, like wrathful and peaceful and male and female and so on. Um, they appear as Dakas and Dakinis. But in, in brief, anyone actually who has love and compassion can said to be either Chinresik or a female Tara. They appear in all kinds of forms on the outer level, those wisdom beings. And in this world, also anyone with love and compassion really is an emanation of the deity or a nirmana kaya. So uh, these are the first three benefits. You understand the deity as the, uh, the, the mantra as the deity, the mantra as the offering, and the mantra as a purification of obscurations. And so also how this purification happens is that when you cultivate an altruistic mind wishing to benefit others, then naturally the obscurations of others and also yourself are being purified. It is because altruism is like the sun that melts the ice block of self-grasping. And in reality, there is no real self. So therefore, the moment you cultivate an altruistic mind, the self is gone. But for as long as you grasp at a self, um, for as long as you are selfish, it is impossible to cultivate an altruistic mind. So that's very important to understand very clearly. So through the power of the mantra then, um, and its benefits, um, various activities are accomplished. Mm. <laughs> Jordan的 Lora
Um, and then also we understand the um, uh, mantra, the, the mantra garland as the, as the mandala, it becomes the mandala. And so now normally when we practice um, sadhana, we, we begin with the refuge and we cultivate bodhicitta and then we visualize the entire mandala of the deity. <coughs> and in that way, uh, again and again, you're training, uh, you're habituating to the visualization. And then having habituated to it later, even if you're not actually reading the sadhana, you, when you just say Omani Padme Hung, for example, instantly Chenrezig appears in your mind in, in just one moment. Uh, so in that way, actually, the generation stage arises instantly. The mandala arises instantly. And also the completion stage then happens instantly. It arises and then instantly it dissolves. And then, so abiding within the state, we practice the union of the creation stage, or generation stage, and the completion stage. So the deity arises instantly, and then instantly dissolves into emptiness. And so this is how we also can train in the union of generation and completion stages. And so through this training, we develop some um, freedom of the mind, uh, some mental stability. And so then uh, when bodhicitta arises and there are no more negative emotions and no self-grasping, then just naturally the pure lens will manifest. Um, and also likewise naturally the um, appearances of the six realms of samsara are the natural reflection, the projection of your own afflictive emotions. It is just like the rainbow lights emerging from a crystal, naturally. And so therefore, if there are no more afflictive emotions in your mind, then there is no way that the three lower realms can appear to you. Like it is said in the 37 practices, all appearances, appearances are one's own mind. So in this way also you can develop, through this training, you can develop also trust in those verses in the 37 practices. So the appearances are the deity. For example, when we look at the people here in this room, if you um, have habituated to that, then instantly you would see them as a Chandrasik, for example. And you wouldn't think that they are real people, those people are real, or you also wouldn't think that they are not real. There would be no thought. They appear, but they're also empty. And that is the nature of Chinvesic. So as you habituate to bodhicitta, uh, gradually um, things can transform in that way. So again, the, the fourth benefit or the, the meaning of the mantra is um, we understand the mantra to represent the mandala. <laughs> Then <laughs> Lave <laughs> Nyawa え、
这个是我们现在是这个杀鸡杀鸡的这个是这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀鸡的这个杀
Tatarangi, Um, and then also we understand the mantra as the siddhim or the accomplishment. And that actually mm, uh, summarizes the whole purpose of mantra practice. The whole benefit of mantra practice is because we want to attain accomplishment on those cities. And there is more benefits and like uh, meaning of the mantra that can be explained. But these are some examples that we can all easily understand. So the city or the accomplishment, now what is um, going to be accomplished? And we accomplish the day team. Uh, so you actually, um, and by, accom by accomplishing the mantra, you actually become the day team. And so when does that happen? It is that now when you habituate to the deity and the deity instantly appears in your mind and it remains there, then later after you have died and you come into the second bardom, you awaken in that bardom, then without any other ordinary thoughts intervening, the deity an appears instantly and then you have already accomplished the deity. And the reason is that because you possess Buddha nature, your true nature is already pure um, by on the basis, by nature. Um, but then now, if to actualize that, we practice the deity. And if you practice the deity with bodhicitta, thinking that I am practicing for the benefit of all beings, for the enlightenment of all beings, so if you cultivate such an altruistic mind and then in an instant think of the deity, then by virtue of your Buddha nature, what appears is the actual deity. And in that instant, all temporary stains of self-grasping are cleared away. And what appears is the actual deity. And it will be accomplished um, by virtue of the truth uh, because th that is your true nature. 
And so actually, if you attain great stability, there are some who will even attain the rainbow body, for example, in this very life. Um, so there's one example that, um, that exemplifies the, um, the powers of the mantra recitation, an example of a person that we can actually see. There is this um, Lama, um, one of Rinpoche's friends, who is able to um, heat up metal, um, different kinds of objects, through the power of mantra. And so this Lama um, has been practicing the wrathful deity um, um, Gotak for nine years and then accomplished the deity. And through the power of that practice, he's able to heat up any kind of object and actually even his own thumb um, he when he u uses the mantra on his thumb and then touches you with the thumb it burns and it's actually not hot the, the thumb is not hot but it still burns and so that is uh, a way of um, healing others and we can say that <coughs> probably like 60 percent of the people treated by him will get better and some cannot be cured and so the reason is whether or not we are able to be cured we can be cured depends on the karma that we have accumulated in the past and also mainly it depends on whether or not we have confessed our negative actions in previous lives for example in previous lives you might have taken a refuge vow or any other vow so you have taken a vow you understand karma and you did something wrong, but you recognized that this was wrong, so you felt sorry for that, um, you, you, you confessed, um, you regret. But then again, you make the same mistake, and again, you confess. Uh, but through that, um, there, um, th there is a quality of confession. Even if you have not um, completely purified that negative act, um, you have regretted it, there is a sense of remorse. And so um, as a result of that karma, there will be suffering, but also because you have confessed, you have recognized the mistake, the fault in your action. Um, because of that, when the suffering ripens, something can come and help you. For example, you can be healed through the power of mantra or any other medical treatment and so on. And then there is others who have done similar negative things, but they did not confess at all. And maybe they thought, I don't need the Dharma, I don't understand, I don't believe in karma, it is all under my power, I can do whatever <laughs> I want. And in that case, even if you are like a protected king, you can still be assassinated. Nothing, there's nothing that anyone can do to protect you. And then there is many others, for example, soldiers who still don't die if it's not their karma. For example, there is many who have survived the um, Second World War and are still here now. So that is an example of something that we can actually directly see. And now whether or not such a treatment, for example, can help us, it also depends now <coughs> on the karma that we have accumulated in the past, specifically whether or not we have confessed in the past. But probably we can say that 60% of the time it is actually very beneficial. <laughs> Sometimes ま、ニュアンスをね、ま、僕も聞いてもらいましょう。それで、Sin 
这个过程的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方的地方
ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Uh, so there is a clear knowing awareness that knows its empty nature and that clear empty nature has a radiance and that radiance um, is love. It is like a feeling, that radiance is a the feeling of love. And from that feeling of love arise then the qualities of the Nirmana Kaya. For example, in the form of clouds and rain and so on in order to benefit sentient beings. So finally, when you realize the view, the nature of mind, you attain the state of the three kayas. But also now when you look at your mind and, and you see the empty space-like essence, that is the seed of the Dharma Kaya. And then there is a clear awareness that is uh, clear, clearly knows its own nature. And from that arise the Samboga Kayas <coughs> and all the limitless pure lands. And then there is a natural, <coughs> pervasive compassion for all sentient beings who have not realized that. And that is the seed of the Nirmana Kaya. So these qualities are all complete within your own mind in just an instant. And so now when you, you have dissolved, you visualize, then you dissolve in the completion stage. And then after having dissolved and having meditated for some time, then without having an ordinary thought intervene, you instantly arise as the deity again, or you just bring back the seed syllable, for example, you, or you think, I am Tara. And then you never separate from this clear vision of the deity. So um, in the completion stage, it all dissolves. And as it dissolves, you recognize the empty nature of all appearance. And then again, it all arises in an instant. So although things are empty of self-nature, they temporarily appear just like illusions. So then again, in an instant, uh, you appear in the form of the deity. So you enter into the clear um, vision of the deity. So, um, also there is um, the, what is it, uh, like the, the protector offering um, that is included in the Archi practice. And so normally uh, we don't have so much time to do like a protector offering or um, like a smoke offering. And so we can just um, actually recite the, what is it, um, the secret supplication, um, which is on page um, 53. Um, and um, uh, so that is actually a very, um, very precious um, prayer. It is like, um, like, um, like, a, 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 like a pure um, vision of mm. prayer. <coughs> Page 53. Fifty-three. Oh, please consider me, glorious Varja, God and Great Black One, Mahakala and glorious Great uh, Heruka Chakra Sambara. By nature, you are one with Dharmata. In essence, you are the same with exalted wisdom. In character, you are equal in hindering activity. Hero who defect or unfavorable circumstances. You are the foremost Lord of all parents and existence. Good and demons, false protector, who is the great leader of active resources. Invisible severing of radiant splendor. You protect everyone is holding your gains as if they were your own children. 
and essence the concentration of all bond practice and are endowed with the radiance of peace, the splendor of increasing the power of magnetizing activity, and are safely activity of liberating savage face and hindrances. Your mighty skill to protect the teaching is super power, Lord Dorjet Rakshan. Great war, good of yogins, please think of me. A body on the silver ground of Vajra Heruka and lighting body, speech and mind. I am the yogi engaged in practice to attain unsurpassed enlightenment. I saw us to conquer obstacles to the path of supreme bliss and the bread of the four maras. Please cause me to encounter the samadhi sword that will guide me on the trepid path. Thus, until I attain enlightenment, help me not to walk on poverty the path with the body, speech, and mind, but cause my mind to turn towards freedom and enlightenment. May all unfavorable circumstances in the world be one case. May perfect auspiciousness and goodness provide and increase. May God's demands and men be overpowered at all times and in every circumstances. May enlightening activity be accomplished according to my supplications. As you are the glory and the garden of all beings, please perform activity to grant supreme and common seed unobstructedly and effortlessly. May I one catch or unfavorable circumstances, the enemies and hindrance with perverted views and the like, and may perfect auspiciousness and godliness provide and prayer, and honor um, my soul by the power of compassion, previous aspirations, achichicha drama, arise from the busy space of phenomena, and law upon us from the expanse of exalted wisdom, miraculously descend upon this activity mandala. Mother Achi, daughter of Nanam, Power Lady, Dharma Tara, Wisdom Tara, Samaya Tara, Manetas and Goddess, Flesh Eating, Karming Dakini, Noble Lady, Tashi Serema, Mio Lob Zama, Tekan Rozama, Tengeshar Zama, and Chupin Dizama, Protectors of the Lineage Forefathers, Protectors of Fracting and Hematages. Protectors with the Samaya who ply to protect the teaching of the Kaju lineage. Your effulgent wisdom never fails. Your compassion never withholds. Your blessings are closed and your power unobstructed. All of you bless us, yogins, and our retinue with your enlightened body. Bless us with your enlightened speech. Bless us with your enlightened mind. Bless us with your enlightening qualities. Bless us with your enlightening activity. Aid so us to conquer diverse circumstances and the dread of the four maras. Please cause me to conquer the samadhi secret that will guide me on the true path. Thus, until I attain enlightenment, help me not to walk on perverted path with the body, speech, and mind, but cause my mind to turn towards freedom and enlightenment. May all unfavorable circumstances in this world be vanquished. May perfect auspiciousness and goodness provide and increase. May God's demons and men be overpowered at all times and in every circumstance. May enlightening activities be accomplished according to me supplication. As your the glory and the garden of all beings, please perform activity to grant supreme and common seed Abstractedly and effortlessly. May I vanquish your unfavorable circumstances, the enemies and the hindrance with the perverted to auspiciousness and goodness, provide and prayer. Zaya, Zaya, Siddhi, Siddhi, Pala, Pala. Go back to Tibetan. Page 53. Hong Gong Su Solo Parer Dorje Gombo Nagbo Jembo Parer Jese Jembo 
เฮรกาตาราเยจิเนเดจิปะงอวอยิเยซอซุมบาซิเนเตนเลทอมิเดญัมบาเมมเตนเบโซตามเจญจงเบปาวนาเซลันเดเกญเจยานเจชิงจง
When all beings and are passed from this life, may we be born there unhindered by another samsaric birth. Once born there, may we behold the face Amitabha, boundless light. By the power of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the ten directions, bless us that we may attain this aspiration without hindering. Tiyata, Pinsandra, Avam, Bodha, Naya, Soha, Shibeti, Ema, Om, Om, Sara, Sanje, Nama, Daya, Tahaya, Sajya, Vodha, Jaya, Bodha, Yonda Sambande Jinda Nala Sanje Sanzemba Minkor Jikur Deje Ngom Sarabade Mebaye Dewa Jinji Save Shengande Dajinde Nezimbi Jirmada Jewa Jinji Parma Chupar Tere chene nande sharando yonde gudagi mulanta bande Soji sanje sanse damje chi keme nre pare sinji labde so Tia da benza nre ya awa bode na ye so Dorjin Chang, Telopa, Naropa, Marpa, Malarepa, Dharma Lord Gampopa, Pamotopa, and Lord Digomba, please bestow upon us the most auspicious blessing of all the Kaju Lamas. By this virtue, may I achieve a nation. By defeating all enemies' confession, may all who travel on the waves of birth, old age, sickness, and death cross the ocean of Samsara. Bodhicitta, the excellent and precious mind, where it is unborn, may it arise, where it is born, may it not decline, but it will increase higher and higher. I pray that the Lama may have a good health. I pray that the Lama may have a long life. I pray that your Dharma activities suffer far and wide. I pray that I may not be separate from you. As Manjushri, they will all realize the automatic state. And as the dead Samantha Bada, I will follow in the path and fully dedicate all the merit for all sentient beings. By the blessing of the Buddhas who attain the Trikayas, by the blessing of the truth of the unchanging Dharma as such, by the blessing of the invisible Sangha, order may the merit I shall bear fruit. By this virtue, collecting the three times, by my seven all beings in Samsara and Nirvana, and by inner rule of virtue, may I and all sentient beings quickly attain, unsurpass, perfect, come, precious, and lighting men. May the teaching of great Dugong Paranashiri, who is a nation, Lord of Dharma, Master of Interdependence, continue and increase through study, practice, contemplation, and meditation, until the end of the Samsara. For this realm, circled by, by snow-covered mountains, you are the source of every benefit and bless without exception. Tenzin Jamso, you who are one with Avaloka Shora, may you remain satisfied until Samsara's end. Embodiment of the three precious jewels, Pemapane, who holds the teaching of the victorious one, seeing the all goodness, meaning with the wisdom eye, May you who are spontaneously established activity, living long for hundreds of kappas. Noble Manjushri, the Lord of Speech, who manifests to hold the teaching of the Tepe Gem, who raises the lamb of the sages' teachings. May you who are the light of the Dharma, living long for hundreds of kappas. The one knows in the holy lands is Ayandeva, emanate into engulfing of Eastern Tibet as Chidamba, the hard son of Jiktin Sungu. May the life of glorious Engarchin remain satisfied as 400 years. In this age of a satisfied, when the victor's teaching face hardship, through his powerful Vajra like conduct, he takes on himself the heavy responsibility of the unfavorable teaching. May Engarchin, the son of teaching, live long. Om Mama Zadra Zoha Yarande Sarwande Ranza Ranzande 
So thank you, everyone. Um, we'll begin the teachings tomorrow at 9 a.m. And so I just wanted to say that we'll be collecting the text right now. Uh, Diane and Michael are going around. So while, while I finish uh, a couple announcements, uh, you can go ahead and pass your text down to the end of the row would probably be the easiest way to do. Um, if you're in a row, pass your text down to the end of the row and they will be able to get those from there. So I also wanted to just make an announcement. I wanted to welcome all of those watching by streaming. Um, just to let you know, uh, Dharma Surya in Fairfax, Virginia, uh, they are streaming at their temple, which is really wonderful. So as a community, uh, we all together are watching these teachings. So I think that's a beautiful way to be able to uh, see Rinpoche and, and together uh, watch these um, via our virtual, our vu virtual way. In addition, uh, last evening, uh, we had 120 streamers watching the empowerment, and today we've had 77. And beyond that, we are uh, so, so very fortunate to have Lanan here as a Vietnamese translator, and she's live streaming in Vietnamese to the, Viet the students in Vietnam. So isn't that incredible? So um, a thank you to all of our IT people on making this possible. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> um, so we um, also will still have an opportunity for the mandala offerings, so if anyone would like to sign up for those, uh, you can see Terry downstairs, and we have a sign-up sheet. And um, also the names for the Zhang Chu ritual. Uh, the papers are on the back table and uh, you are welcome to do that. We'll be collecting those in the morning. Uh, so be sure, I believe, um, did Rinpoche ble bless the items in the back? Yes. Great, okay, thank you. Um, be sure to collect your items that have been blessed in the back. We don't want anything to be misplaced. And thank you, everyone, uh, for your attention and your patience through these announcements. And we will see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Thank you. <laughs>